Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm doing Stitcher Library number five. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is a quick one, and it's a little project that's easy to whip up, and it's for a holiday that's coming up. So this is an Easter project, actually, and uh, it came, the pattern came out last year, and I downloaded it um, when it came out. It came out in March. Of, no, wait a minute. It came out in 2020. I wrote it down on my other thing, but I didn't write it on this. <laughs> but it's a Sarah Satch pattern. Anyways, it came out either in 21 or 2020. And I downloaded it when it did because I meant to make it. And I feel like I did make one, but I don't know if I ever showed it to you guys. I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. But it's called the Itty Bitty Bunny Bags by Sarah Satch. It is a free pattern um, on her website, and I'll link that below. And I think she has a video tutorial for it. If, I, if she does, I'll link that below too. It's super quick. I used worsted weight yarns and an H hook. And they're little gift bags uh, for Easter. They The right reason it's called bunny bags is because it has bunny ears. But I did not do the bunny ears. I just wanted it to look like the egg shape. So I made two of them. One for my son, Jesse. And one for my nephew, Ben. Because they do the egg hunts together. And I thought this would be cute to put money in. To give to them. And like some candy. Because <laughs> me and my sister both usually buy a um, big bag of candy. Because we have a ton of eggs that we use every year. Um, and then we fill them up and hide the eggs. Usually in my mom's yard. And then we'll have the boys go and get them. June's way too little this year to even care about Easter. She's going to be like almost three months when it's Easter this year. So she's not going to care. She's going to be sleeping and probably being held by a grandparent <laughs> during the whole holiday. So um, I did just make the two. But here's the one, two I made. So I made this one. And it's like a little drawstring. Oh, I guess I should undo the drawstrings. That might be good enough. So it's like a little drawstring bag. that you put candy and, in my case, money. And then you pull it close. And you can tie it. But uh, the pattern does have bunny ears. I just didn't want to do that. I just wanted it to look like an egg, which it does. Especially when it's like full stuff, it'll look eggy. <laughs> but uh, these are all red heart yarns. I know this is pale yellow and light blue. This is something to do with mint, like minty or something like that. And then I also, on the other one, it's, it's the pale yellow and pink. I can't remember what the pink is called. I always forget the pink name. <laughs> but they're the same, exact same bag, so I just made two of them. And uh, in the in, with the intention of one being for... Jesse and one being for my nephew too so they can each get a little because we always make um like golden eggs but we always hide them in spots where we know that one boy would get one of each you know uh we kind of guide them to where it's at <laughs> so that they both get money and stuff and it's fair you know because <laughs> it's just two kids right now I guess we'll do that too once June gets old enough because um you know it's just it's just the three kids so far <laughs> in our our immediate family it's, uh, so it's easy to just cheat a little and let them each get prize eggs but anyways <laughs> so that's my intentions with these really quick i made them super fast uh it's just double crochets and then chains because this is like a v-stitch thing going on here really easy i do have the pattern printed out but it's like in my brain now but you know like next year i might not remember it so i'll be putting this in my folder to probably make more of you know as june gets older and that'd be cute for like uh class gifts but i don't know if schools do stuff like that anymore because of other religions, <laughs> but, um, you know, it'd be cute if you go to church or whatever, or if you have a bunch of kids in your family, we just have the two right now, and then June, a baby, <laughs> we don't have many little kids in our family, but, um, I think they're cute, so it's been living in my stash for a year, or maybe two years, I can't remember when it came out, I looked yesterday, when I was making it, because I wrote it down on my, my little journal, where I'm keeping track of all my projects, uh, of when it came out, but I can't remember, now if it was 21 or 2022 but i remember because i like to watch her video it comes out every tuesday and it was in one of those uh whenever it came out and i feel like i made one i, mean, I don't know if i ever shared it with you guys i can't remember it's been a while <laughs> but it's so cute so it's stitch my library number five this has been sitting in my library for at least a year or two and now i finally made some and um i think they're cute i wish i had made this one one row shorter right here this so it been more like centered, but whatever. It doesn't matter. The kids aren't going to care as long as there's candy money in it. <laughs> so that's my little stitch library. Super cute. Free pattern. I'll link the written for version below. And I'm pretty sure there's a video tutorial. Because Sarah's really good at making videos of all of her patterns. So I'll link them below if they are down there. And they're just cute. They whip up really fast. You can make them for Easter basket. Like extra things. And um, they're just cute. I like it. <laughs> but yeah. So that was my stitch library number five. I think. <laughs> I can't remember, but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.